So healed people heal people, mm -hmm. right? And so we have to get teach men. One of the things I try to teach men is to be committed to your healing journey. That's why I wrote the book, Heal For It. Heal with the future in mind, but you can only heal if you're helping others to heal as well. So we have to get men to be committed and intentional on their healing journeys. You know, allyship is, is not about rescuing. This is not doing things for somebody. This is doing things with, right? So we need to come, learn to come alongside and think about how do we do this collaboratively? How do we show up as partners in, in the workplace and do this together? And, and again, because I think we have as much to gain and to learn um, as men, uh, as do women in the workplace. And we can, we can do that for all of us together. We all have our biases as a woman. I have biases against other women too. Uh, but what we do need to do, there's no button that you can consciously press and stop uh, the bias. You have to actually question yourself all the time and, and take a step back because we've grown up with deeply entrenched biases. So I think if we can consciously take a step back um, and see what is it that we're doing wrong um, and question ourselves, you know, what, what assumptions am I making on the basis of person's gender, race, ethnicity, faith or any other protected characteristic? I think that would really help. You happen to be a male with any seniority, it's not enough to be nice to women and, and to mentor them that way. You need to talk about talented women when they're not even in the room. Tell other people why they're rock stars, why they should be considered. Tell them about their great performance. This requires more skin in the game and risk on your part, but you need to step up and do that. Men are not used to being uncomfortable. Uh, they're not used to walking, white men are not used to walking into a room and it being full of people who are not the same as them. And um, even talking about um, allyship and um, women's issues online, people, not everyone's gonna agree with you and they're gonna come back at you, but um, you, you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you're gonna change anything, because um, if, you don't, if you don't do that, then nothing will change at all. And you can build these kind of walls around yourself. Um, so getting comfortable with being uncomfortable We have to stop talking about how to fix women. They don't need to be fixed. Um, the systems do, and we have to talk about how how many men show up in the workplace. After all, the majority of leadership positions are still held by men, so engaging more men is essential for advancing equality.